feedback. Too long since we last talked, but Wolfheart went on and released King of the North, and we need to talk about this album. Hmm. You out did yourselves. Welcome back to Metal Radio. Thank hmm. you for having us. <laughs> um, King of the North is out now through Napalm Records. It's been um, a couple of weeks, yeah. almost. Um, in my opinion, it's your best album so far. I loved every one of your previous releases, but with this one, you outdid yourselves. How has the feedback been on your side so far? It's been really, really good. Especially, I was expecting a little bit more not complaints, but uh, I know that the change with the vocals is quite big and sometimes metal audience can be very like uh, like uh, not narrow minded, but if you like growling vocals, that might mean that you don't really want, need to have any clean vocals in your music or the other way around. So I was expecting a little bit more diverse feedback, but it's maybe like uh, one out of 200 being like uh, having any issues with the vocals. So it's been like surprisingly good not that i was expecting a bad feedback but uh but yeah it's been amazing it was a rather bold decision to have actually three singers it's not like it's actually like you're sharing the mic you're using you're utilizing three singers throughout the album and you're using it in a way that it serves the songs exactly at the point when the vocals need to change was it uh, did you create the songs in order to be like that or was it something that came in the way yeah it was knowing already the uh, capabilities of both Vagelis and Lauri while writing the songs I could write the songs in a way that the, they will support three different vocals it is a uh, it's a different way of writing for myself because my vocals is just a rhythmical element. It's like a percussion. It doesn't carry any melody. It just gather, carries a certain arrangement with the rhythm. So I need to have a different like uh, arrangement with the melodies, so that the song has those. With the with now I have two vocalists. I can I have a lot more like uh, tools to build the songs, and the songs were built for all the three vocals. However, you don't use just the singers and the clean vocals in order to promote the melodies. You also use elements which bring to mind Dawn of Solace, which bring to mind, um, I mean, the melodies uh, carried on the piano. It's like you're expanding your, your musical spectrum. It's not all brutal, but it's not all melody. It's uh, something like, more like storytelling. Yeah, that's actually a really good way to put it, yeah, because uh, also the, the theme of the album is a lot wider than it, it's been in, in the past. Like the previous album was about the Winter War, and that's just three months of one particular battle between Finland and Russia, uh, 1939 to 40. So if the writing a whole album that is based on that one battle with all the stories basically being similar or at least about the same topic also narrows a little bit the songwriting but now that i have the finnish mythology which is insanely wide like huge amount of different stories every most of them are based on nature so that also like uh, kind of like it gives a lot more freedom with the, with the songwriting and because of all the songs are based on stories in the mythology i really wanted to make the songs sound like stories themselves, mm -hmm. not just lyrics, so. How did you choose uh, the topics? Because that was the next thing that uh, I wanted to talk about, the lyrics. How did you choose the topics and how did you, did you do some uh, research on them? Was it yeah. hard? I, I did a lot, a lot of research and it was really, no, not really hard, but uh, it was surprisingly hard because uh, uh, what I came came to learn is that the Finnish mythology is very badly documented. Mm -hmm. It's uh, a lot of just like uh, scattered small stories or parts of the songs or 
some lines of some poem and uh it's just like like making making it like huge puzzle or like it's just drawing the lines between the dots it's not like like for example northern mythology it's very structured very well documented everybody knows something about the viking mythology and history it, it, there's tv series in netflix about that like it, like it's, it's very like very well known and very easily accessible information and it's if there's no inter different interpretations there's Odin there's Valhalla there is there's low that certain things are just like principles in that but in the Nordic mythology otherwise and the and the Finnish one it's just stories that were passed to different generations or from village to another and different areas of, of Finland for example had completely different interpretations for northern lights there's so many different variations because it wasn't not like a religion or structured or it was just stories and back in the days when the stories were told people didn't know how to write and when we when we got the knowledge to write it came from the sweden with crusades and you know what christians do when they <laughs> come over they deny everything else except christianity so when we actually were able to write it was not allowed to write anything about the pagan Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so it's uh there is no like there's not even a sing single book that could tell the basic thing about Finnish mythology it's just bits and pieces here and there did you do a good documentation on your lyrics do you consider yourself uh, a good um a solid uh let's say did you get as far as you could inside the truth uh, yeah in terms of the stories yeah and there there's some there were some really cool stories that i had to leave out because i didn't have enough information because i didn't want to just uh, pick up a topic and then color the whole thing with my imagination mm -hmm. to make it in, in enough interesting or understandable for the for the lyrics of the song so yeah i i also had to skip a lot of stuff actually because it was just like super cool topic but so little information that I, it wasn't enough for a story anymore. And the bad thing about verbal stories carried on from generation to generation is that you can't cross uh, your your facts in order to check them yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it gets colored within the time. It's like a broken phone kind of thing. It's. Uh, yeah, exactly. It, like a broken it, phone. You know what the original story was, but what it was is. One thing that made it easy because it's uh, I could when I was reading all the stories in the mythology, it was very clear that is um, I think it is same happens in every culture. There's the basic things from the nature that you need to survive. You need the sunlight, you need the water from the sky to be able to like, get, give food for the village or your family. And then you have uh, the phenomena like thunder that you need to come up with explanation. And a lot of different culture have a different gods for thunder, for example. In, no in Northern Realm, we have uh, Northern Lights, which naturally was uh, quite a big phenomenon from the from the nature. So that had to be explained. And there had to be some explanation. What happens when we die? Where did we come from? So the same principles kind of like uh, follow every culture and you just come up with a little bit different explanations and stories. And, in in north the nature plays quite a big part in, in in that our demigods come from the forest the in greek mythology it is the uh, olympus mountain so it's like uh, but we the people back in the days had the need to explain the similar things they just came up with a little bit different stories yeah Uh, in the album 
you have Carl Sanders and uh, were the songs written before you agreed on the guests that you have or after? Uh, yeah, that's uh, both of the, the whole guest vocal thing was an accident to begin with. Okay. Uh, our Happy, many, accident. Uh, huh? Happy accident. Happy accident. Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, our management was asking us before the recording that is there anybody like bigger name that we would like to have on the album? They could start asking around, and I said like definitely no. I don't want to have anybody on the album. We're gonna have two two guys already. Like it doesn't make any sense. I have Vangelis and Lauri doing vocals, so why would we add another vocals on top of that and and take the spotlight out from them? So no, definitely don't ask anybody. And uh, we were mixing the album already last October when I got the message from one uh, Russian fan in Instagram, and he he was sending me a link to Jesse Leach's Instagram stories, and he had one of our songs called Valkyrie playing on the background of the story. And uh, the story was about his uh, his girlfriend moving to from Canada to North America to live with him. And I, I thought that he just like I wasn't sure. I didn't um, I don't know Jesse at all. Never met him. Never been in any contact. Uh, I used to be and still I'm a huge fan of his, fan of his vocals. He was quite a big influence on me when the Kill of His Engage uh, Alive or Just Breathing album came out. But I, I thought like he's, he just picked any song that had that title because the title fits for the situation but i had to write a comment for the story that nice choice of a song uh he replied instantly and started telling that he's been a fan of wolfhard for some years already that he was introduced to him by one of his friends and they regularly listen to some of our albums and he was asking like how things are going is there new music in the making how in general band is what are, what are the plans in the future and i was telling about the New album, uh, I sent him a few songs that were, were mixed and he was telling like this would be exactly the style he would like to do as a vocalist. And I was like, well, now that you mentioned <laughs> that that can be arranged, but the album was already completely written. I had all the vocal parts done with uh, all three vocalists in the band, so I didn't have a song for him. So what happened that uh, I told him that I have a song and that I will send it in a few days, but I actually wrote a new song uh, in those two days and made a demo and sent that to him. And uh, he liked the song, so we recorded an additional song that was not, not supposed to be on the album. That the whole song became to be on the album because Jesse wanted to do some vocals on it. So, uh, yeah, that, that song didn't exist until that conversation. And then uh, when that already like happened and we already had a guest vocal coming for the album, then it didn't matter anymore if we add one more. But that song was already done. I already did my vocals on the part where Carl Sanders is doing his vocals. And I tried to do as low as possible, but my vocal range as a growler is not that deep. Like I couldn't get that like a uh, North American monster sounding growling that I would have wanted to have there. So then I, we, we just asked Carl, could he do that part? That like his, his voice would fit better than mine. And uh, I really like, I like the idea of having him instead of others, because uh, even though he's not the lead vocalist in his band, but he's very much into mythology himself. That's what the whole theme of Nile is about from the Egyptian mythology. I th so I thought that would be something interesting for him also, because it's a similar thing, but the, the Nordic version. So, yeah, but accidents, yeah. Well, accidents, but uh, to tell you the truth, uh, it's so, so uniquely combined. I mean, the result is so great. I mean, this uh, King of the North is definitely one of the best albums of the year. It's definitely the best album of Wolfheart. I think that you outdid yourselves and I can't wait to listen to it live, so you need to tell us about that. And since Vagelis is Greek, yeah. you need to come to Greece. Well, <laughs> we we talked about that last time yesterday with Vagelis, when when we were playing the sh uh, album release show in, in Finland. And uh, I've been trying to make that happen for several months already. It's, uh, uh, Greek promoters are not the fastest one in the business to make things happen. 
So, but I've, I've been putting a lot of pressure for the agency to get something done. But uh, yeah, it's it's in the in the works, and I would really want to come to Athens uh, after the European tour, like uh, latest of November. But it's not in my hands. Somebody from your country needs to book the show for us. That's how it works. Yeah. But, uh, but it, it it would be annoyingly easy to skip that because Bagel is always already is there. Uh, I I like to spend time in Athens anyway, so I could just be there for a holiday, and we would just need to fly two guys to make the gig happen. That's the easiest thing. Is yeah, but uh, yeah, it is it's in the works. I'm trying okay. to make it happen. We keep our fingers crossed, and we'll do whatever it needs to be done. Yeah. <laughs> So I was watching this video that you did earlier with uh, the bear asking it which song it's uh, yeah. favorite one. What's your favorite song? Mm, it, it varies. It varies. Um, I really like Cold Flame. Yeah. In general, but uh, I when it comes to playing, I really like Ancestor also. I one of the best songs of the live set yesterday was Knell because it was dif so different energy from the other songs and it has uh, all the three vocals and everything so it it was probably the biggest fun to play yesterday so yeah it it varies quite a lot depends on the mood Sky Forger is amazing like a gig opener it worked really well yesterday so it's a uh, and that's what I would like to listen the most. So it's a, from different angles. A lot of the lot of the songs are my favorite. Well, it's actually a beginning to end album. I can't. Um, I can't. I never skip any of the songs. It's a. Gr it's an amazing album. Um, what are you going to do with the guest vocals live? Are you going to use pre-recorded parts? Uh, we don't know yet. We didn't do ancestor yet. Yesterday, um, with uh, with Cold Flame, Carl is doing such a short part, so that that wouldn't be an issue anyway. I could do crawling live or like it, but the, the ancestor has a quite a big. The Jesse has a quite a big role on on the song, so having the backing track might be a little bit too much for us as a band to have that big a part of the song coming from the backing track. And then again, also the, the mood of the song relies heavily on the sound of Jesse. So replacing him with another vocalist would change the song quite a lot. It would. Which I don't want to do either, so we will decide that later, how we're going to do that. Maybe we just play that song once in North America if we get Jesse to do the vocals in one gig. I don't that, know. but that, that, That's unfair for the rest of us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know, but it's... Uh, but yeah, it's it's uh, th that's the tricky thing with the guest vocalist. If if because I didn't want to cut his part any like less on the song. I didn't want to think about how we're gonna do that live. I just, I just wanted to make song work the best way possible as a song and as uh, part of the album. But of course, it's complicated to make that happen when the vocalist lives in North America. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Have uh, the guests being from um, mostly Jesse, uh, being from uh, a different genre of metal, has that brought in new f fans to the band? Uh, I don't know yet. I, I, I haven't seen that yet. But then again, I, that's not something I'm tracking actively anyway. Okay. We we got a lot of attention from uh, from playlists and editors from different like the, from the metalcore side. Mm -hmm. I don't think like if you are really into metalcore as a, as a music fan, the rest of our stuff is not probably <laughs> your, your cup of tea anyway. So that was the, never the point to like uh, if we would have like wanted to just expand the fan base, we would have tried to get the vocalist from Amon Amarth or just like getting more fans from the same style, knowing. Yeah. Uh, the the metalcore like what what Killswitch is doing is very different from our music, except what Jesse is doing on that particular song. But the rest of the song is just more like melodic black metal that we we do. So yeah, I I don't think that that would be like a 
that that's going to happen that we're going to like uh, find that many new fans from there but uh, that was also never the plan okay i don't want to take more of your time because i know that you have a very busy schedule i want to thank you for being with us um I don't think I need to wish you anything about this album. It all it, it's just one listen away from everyone loving it. I mean, it 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 becomes a part of you as uh, as long as you listen to it. You don't need to you need, don't need to listen to it twice. And I wish you all the best about it. Thank you. I hope to see you soon in Athens. I should hear I hope, I hope more. I'm yeah. Going to do I don't know what I can do. Maybe we can pray to the northern gods or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just just email the local promoters. I think that would help more. I, I will do all my best. <laughs> I promise that. <laughs> my experience, I'm not sure if they are listening any more carefully than the northern gods. There's, sometimes Greek promoters seem to be more mythological, like more like mystic creatures than a uh, nordic. <laughs> Odds when it comes to like getting things done, but uh, but yeah, hopefully it's, I, I should hear something within a few weeks, and uh, hopefully we get to announce the date really soon. I hope so too, and uh, I will definitely be there. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Bye bye.